When it's time to tank up this car, the driver hasn't got a lot of choice in the Ruhr region. And that's because he needs hydrogen. And this is the only public hydrogen pump in Dusseldorf. We manufacture gases, so we're interested in all possible uses for our products. This is a new application for our gases, so we're involved, even if it isn't profitable yet. But we can see a potential if the number of hydrogen-driven cars rises. That'll give us a new business area. His employer, the French company Air Liquide, has invested around 600,000 euros in the hydrogen gas pump. The state government spent around the same. Hydrogen technology is still in the test phase. The small series produced by Mercedes cost a fortune. It's all pretty covered up, like it often is. This car has the advantage of a skateboard chassis, so it's all built in underneath. You can't see much, just the normal battery and a compressor. But the rest is underneath. The French company supplies the special fuel from a facility 50 kilometers away. The plant at Marle is a huge labyrinth of pipes and tanks. It's the third biggest chemical site in Germany. Protective clothing and special gas sensors are required at the Air Liquide site. Many of the products are explosive and toxic. The infrastructure here at Marl is fantastic. We receive a concentrated form of hydrogen here compressed to 310 bar. Then we pipe it to this low temperature absorption chiller. There it undergoes additional purification before we make it available at fuel quality. The Marl site is the largest producer of tanked hydrogen in Europe. The French company chose the location for a good reason. North Rhine-Westphalia is one of the important centers of the chemical industry in Germany. Many of our customers are based here, so we have our production sites in the region as well, for example here in Marl. A lot of the local chemical and pharmaceutical manufacturers use hydrogen. But before the gas becomes established as a fuel, Andres Duran Fernandez will have to overcome a lot of challenges. Air Liquide carries out its own scientific research, but it seeks advice too. There are plenty of universities and scientific institutes in the region that are happy to accept industry commissions. At the ZBT Fuel Cell Research Center, scientists are trying to make hydrogen technology greener that's the only way it can keep up with electric motors. Well, at the moment it's not that green because the hydrogen still comes from fossil sources. It's generally manufactured from natural gas using chemical processes. The aim is to make hydrogen by splitting water with the help of electricity and to use electricity from renewable sources like wind or solar power. A full tank is enough to drive 400 kilometers. But not all of Germany is covered with a supply network. No, we aren't that far yet. Maybe it'll be easier going south. We could get to Frankfurt or Stuttgart. But we can't get to Berlin or Hamburg. In two years, there will be 50 hydrogen pumping stations across the country. And then it will be possible to drive a hydrogen-powered car from the Ruhr to the capital.